Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters of the Week. Thought I would mix this one in while I'm continuing to debate on what other series to go with. I might do the Aliens UFO series to tie it into the upcoming quote-unquote raid associated with Area 51. Or I might go back and do some of the Urban Legends. Both of those, it seems like it's been a while since I've touched on those. So I'll definitely put up a suggestions video soon. But in the meantime, let's talk about this random issue entry there on the cryptids.wikia.com page yet again it's another mythical creature that seems to be way out there when it comes to its characteristics but it seems like people definitely have talked about it so much so that there has been even some linked deaths associated with it and it's also part of another Slavic creature which I've talked about in some of my past videos too so in this case it has to do with this creature that you're looking at now. It's known as the Bukovac. So let's go ahead and let's talk about all the fascinating info associated with this extremely deadly creature. This is also another cryptid that you do not want to come across. So what is this Bukovac? Well, depending on who you're talking to, it can either be considered a mythological creature there from Slavic mythology, or it could also be known as a demonic creature. I read in another part, uh, also in the Slavic uh, uh, history telling. So whatever side it is, in both cases, though, it is not something good that you want to come across. First off, though, its characteristics on the physical side. It's been described as a pretty large creature, so much so that it's been termed as a monster. Anytime you hear that word, it's usually thinking of something larger than usual. And as you can see in some of these pictures, it's definitely been depicted as such. Six-legged, in fact, so definitely something that stands out as well when it comes to being one of its own. Not too many other creatures out there that have uh, more legs than necessary, like in this case, six altogether. And also, probably its most defining feature happens to be, at least on the physical side, these horns. These horns, almost these Hellboy-like horns that seem to adorn the top of its face. Very regal, almost majestic looking, but you can see also where it ties in to the demonic notion because when you think of demons, or at least in a traditional sense, uh, the western side at least, you think of something with horns and then such is the case here. And then also the other thing about this creature, I guess, I don't know if you call a physical characteristic but it definitely comes from its body it has a very distinct loud noise that's how you'll know that you're within its territory because you can hear it from very very far away in fact that's why it's called the buka vak because buka is another word for noise i think that's slavic i don't know exactly if that's the uh the original language someone please point it out to me otherwise but that's why it's called the Bukovac. And then as far as where it's located, yes, you do have to go somewhere there in Croatia, specifically at an area known as the Sri Gem. It looks like it's split up into two parts, in fact. And if you go to a county, a place called Vukovar, that's where you'll find most encounters, I guess if you could call it that, associated with this creature. And other parts include Serbia and then other counties there as well. But for the most part, it seems to dwell within that Vukovar. And then as far as its locations within those areas, pretty much any lakes, any pools, large bodies of water, which makes sense considering what it does next. So it'll hide within these large bodies of lake waiting for the right moment. And this is why it makes it so deadly. That's why you don't want to come across this creature if you're going out for the hunt for it. It'll jump out and it'll jump out suddenly. It'll jump onto people, it'll jump onto animals, onto anything, pretty much coming across a large body of water. When I was reading this, I was totally imagining something along the lines like the classic spider in the hole. You've seen those uh, pieces of footage that showcase the spider just whipping out all of a sudden and then grabbing its prey and then probably taking it, uh, in this case, the, the much like the Book of Oak, taking it back to its dwelling. Well, such is what happens here. This thing will jump out, it'll latch onto the people, and then interestingly enough, it'll strangle them. It'll strangle them to death. And, and, and that ties into one set of encounters I'll talk here in a minute. So this creature will do that onto people, it'll do that onto animals. You do not want to come across this because of that fact. It doesn't seem to say that it eats 
the people necessarily or eats the animals. Uh, it, means, it seems to be just doing it almost for fun, which ties into, again, more on the, the demonic side because when you have something that's doing this almost out of pure enjoyment, then you realize that this is a creature that is pretty sinister, pretty deadly. Um, um, it's, it's, it's something that I would not personally try to hunt, and in fact, I'll probably stay away from those areas as much as possible. Here's why, in fact. So while there has been no exact sightings with this creature, like no photographs, no video, nothing along those lines, there have been purported evidence about its findings, unfortunately more on the tragic side. So here's what I mean. Back in the 1900s, in fact, in certain parts there of Sri Jem, as I was mentioning earlier, a few animals and then also a few people were found dead. But interestingly enough, they were found strangled. Now, humans, I mean, obviously we hear about those happening unfortunately, on an almost daily basis where you hear about someone strangling another person to death. That happens. But animals being strangled, that's something else completely different. Who would do that? Who would strangle an animal just out of the blue out there in the middle of Sri Jem? Um, in this case, it's being tied to this book of Ak because that's what it does. It, it'll completely just, like I said earlier, latch onto the animal, strangle them, enjoy it almost, and then strangle them to death, and then it'd be gone. So something was out there in the early 1900s doing this to humans, doing this to animals, and that's why people link it to the, uh, the book of Ak because of this singularity, because of everything as far as this, these coincidences tying into this type of behavior. And then also other parts there in Serbia in Sri Jem, uh, I think it was a place called Srem, uh, S-R-E-M, they have also encountered the same thing there. Humans, animals also strangled, and it, uh, the idea seems to be that is also close to large bodies of water. So if you're out there in that area, please be careful. You'll probably hear it first, again, with that loud, loud noise. So you know it's almost like, okay, I'm not going to go towards that area. I'll just go in the opposite direction. But still, please be careful if you are out there because considering it's been around for a long, long time, the fact that it's part of Slavic legend and also at least in the 1900s, there's no notion that it's not happening right now that in other words it's had something still out there maybe sleeping maybe doing something else but the the idea that it could happen again is definitely something that makes sense so what do you guys think as far as this cryptid of the week this book of Vak? anyone else have any more info anything else i might have missed anybody from that area there in Sri Jem or Serbia, maybe those counties I was mentioning earlier. If so, it, since it sounds like this creature has been around for a long, long time, then it'd be great to hear what your input is. But anyways, that is this cryptid of the week. But yes, if anyone has anything else to mention, anything else in the comments, please do so. All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.